right here, 70 Mile House, where trails converge. video is brought to you by Sutco Transportation, Sutco's hot bearing drivers. Take two. This video is brought to you by Sutco Transportation, Sutco's hiring class one drivers in Alberta and British Columbia. To apply, go to sutco.ca, use promo code Juanfan get an extra hundred dollars on your first payday. Good morning. Good morning. 10.07 a.m. And your wish is my command. The village of Cash Creek welcomes you. I had somebody ask if I ever drive from, from Cash Creek to 70 Mile House. I go not very often, but every once in a while, so here it is, Cash Creek to 70 Mile House. I think it's a 100 Mile House, but it includes 70 Mile House. Either way, here's the hour video. Sure. Yep. So you're retreating the bottle then? You're wishing by command, so you're a genie. Oh, I'm, what'd you say? I'm not a genie in a bottle. No. Oh. I'm a cookie monster in a bottle. No, I'm a cookie in a cookie jar. Cookie monster in a cookie jar. You rub the cookie jar. I get some wishes. Yeah. Okay. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Now that we've talked about cookies, I'm hungry for cookies. I only should have thought about that. It's a good thing you don't keep them within arm's reach. Good thing. Or else I'd uh, look like the cookie monster. Probably have a heart attack too. Maybe that's why I like your blue shirt. Ah, my blue shirt. This is a different blue shirt than yesterday's blue shirt, right? I don't know. I can't remember. Am I wearing the same blue shirt as yesterday? I know we were so tired last night we went to bed and I don't remember much of yesterday. Yep. Pulled over, stopped, did my post trip, used the restroom and off to bed. So I have not edited yesterday's video yet. But Jess is home next week, so she can edit all the videos I don't get to. Oh. So that is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, plus the uh, bonus videos. So that's five videos here. You have to edit if I don't edit any more this week. If that's the case, then I'll have to cut back the stream in order to do it. I'm sure we'll have time to edit at least one of those today. I was going to edit it when we get to our destination. That's been cancelled. Well, I should get there around 1 p.m. Appointment is 2 p.m. I'm going to edit a video in about one hour. No, you have to do this big safety course before loading. So, And the company... I don't know what the chipper is thinking. They email us a QR code to scan. It's like it's on my phone. In a PDF. In a PDF, in an email. How am I supposed to scan that QR code? I Googled this. You need another app. You have to get an app that can read QR codes in a PDF. Why not just have a clickable link? A link I can click on. 
that goes to the safety program, the safety course or whatever I have to take. Because the QR code isn't, all that does is bring you to a link, right? It, it's as if it is a link. It's an easy, handy way to send you to a link. Jess with me. So I emailed it or just emailed it to herself. And then I'm going to scan her phone to get to the safety. Well, you could print it off, but then you have to argue with the printer. Yep, I could take a screenshot or, copy or download the PDF and then print it out and waste ink. It just seems an unnecessary extra step. Make a clickable link. Easy. You can keep the QR code as well, just that big uh, clickable link as well. Um, there might be an easier way to do it that we're not aware of, but I mean, that goes to say we're kind of tech savvy and there's a lot of drivers that aren't. Yeah, imagine if you're one of the completely non tech savvy, completely non tech. I don't know. If, some people don't even have a smartphone. Some people just use a traditional old dump phone. Mm -hmm. Then what? I guess you just show up on site and ask for the cars face to face? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. So yeah, basically we're northbound on Highway 97. Beautiful drive. It's a long way to go empty though. Yeah, it's what, four and a half hours? Yeah. Running empty? I get paid empty miles. About the same rate as full miles because I'm driving full speed limit, but I still get paid 50 miles. I have noticed though I make more money now. The fuel, fuel prices have gone up high enough that the company searches a lot harder to get a backhaul almost every time. Payday does get higher because of that. Portland having to wait that long to get reloaded. Yeah, that kind of sucked. But that wasn't your company's fault. That was the worst site taking forever. And that just, the other truck driver that's headed down there to deliver there today, um, he was talking to me, asking me about it, where, where, where to go. So I explained everything and I just go, so you're dropping your trailer there? He goes, no. I'm like, huh. The work site said that they had arranged that the next trailer is going to get dropped. And he just goes, better not. This is my trailer, I'm taking it with me. I'm like, oh, I would recommend calling dispatch and uh, double checking that. It might be an entertaining day for you. Communication error. Yeah. I see some blue sky up that way. Yeah, we're going in and out of cloudy zones here today. Windy too. 
14.5 degrees south of this window. So we go all this way and then you to turn around and come back this way. Yeah. Yeah. Normally I would keep heading south from Cache Creek till Spence's Bridge, take Highway 8 to Merritt, and then from Merritt down to Princeton and then to Soyuz. But Highway 8 is still closed due to the flooding last fall. At least last night, checked. So that means we'll have to take Highway 1 slash 97 from Cash Creek to Kamloops and then take Highway I guess we really have a choice there. We can take Highway 5 to Merritt and then from Merritt to Princeton, or we could just stay on 97 all the way to the border. But I think 5A five to Princeton is probably still a better way to go, a shorter way to go. Town is uh, Clinton, a little bit of a old Wild West type of a town. There's a lot of lumber mills going on everywhere, so it doesn't mean he'll beat us to our destination. Oh yeah, and I have to do that safety course first anyway, so no need to race any trucks. If you're headed empty north, you can honestly load Mile House, Williams Lake, Canal, Prince George. A few places in between. And a few places in between.
be a lot quieter of a life living over here. Although you're living along a main highway here, but this valley seems to be a slower lifestyle. riding with a big rig. The viewpoint we get compared to even a big pickup. If you're in a small car, you can't even look over the notebooks. We're looking way down to the bottom of the river, or the bottom of the cliff, or the bottom of the valley. We are looking way down. We, we see things that no car will ever see. You almost need me to follow you when you pick up. You both have a camera going. Show the farmers here making most of the space they have. Little little grass fields. I go it everywhere they can. And the farther north they go the more is grass and cattle. Yeah. Really the only place BC does crops is in the lower mainland. Everywhere else, farmland is pretty much just always 
grass, hay, silage. Maybe by Fort St. John, maybe there's some grains up there. Yeah, like maybe up there. Yeah. Up there, there might be some winter wheat and stuff like that. Yeah. We just have such a short well, uh, growing season. Yeah. Is it how cold it gets? I guess Clark does other things than eggs, but Clark transports a lot of eggs. You know? I say your, your sister living up north had an interest to way shorter growing season for even a garden, and then she would grow and not grow. constant fight between comfort and how much weight you add to the truck. For me it's a constant battle of trying to eat healthier and not have everyone in the fridge. Yeah. Because every pound the lighter they can make these trucks, the more money the companies can make, right? And yes, the answer would be stuff at grocery stores, but we already talked about how we can't stop at most grocery stores. Yeah, there's very few places we can actually pull over and stop and buy groceries. Three come to mind right now along Highway 3. And then you're kind of stuck buying all your stuff from a gas station, which is not cost effective. Gas station food isn't healthy either. Well, some of them carry fresh produce nowadays, but they know you will pay more for it.
into Clinton. H's halibut, halibut chips. It's hard for me to pass up fish and chips. Which I get a little, only open three days a week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or something like that. I didn't look close enough and saw three days. You could say engine brakes are brakes, since it says it in the name. Engine brakes or compression brakes or jake brakes, whatever you want to call them. Cemetery 1861, Old Cemetery. It's 141 years. Sky go. It's not looking all that promising. It's gloomy yesterday. Kind of gloomy today. I think they were saying every other day is a storm. Every other day is a storm? In the Okanagan, so I guess it kind of has to flow in from somewhere. If every other day is a storm, then today should be a beautiful day. 
stormy yesterday. Windows closed. There used to be a lumber mill up here too. Yeah, chasm. Yeah, chasm. That's been closed for a couple of years now. Why they're 
driving that car, they must have hit a barrier or something. The toe of the front wheels were facing in, oh, yeah. and you could hear the squealing of the tire. That's why they're driving with four-way flashers on. That car should be towed. That's that, that's super super unsafe. If one tire gets more traction than the other, it'll yank the car over to that side. Possibility of blowing your tire up too? Oh, you're gonna burn that tire off yeah. and blow it. Yeah. It's, it's not a good idea to drive that to your shop. In fact, I bet you the tow will be cheaper than driving it there. Because mm -hmm. the damage you're doing to the tires and the drive line, all, all that stuff, will probably be more than the cost of a tow. Depending on how long distance you're going. This was the exit to the uh, chasm uh, lumber mill.
it seems like there's more clubs in it. Yep. Yep. There's just going to be a little gaps of sunshine like this. Here's the other end of Chasm Road. If you looked all the way around, you come back to it over here. Wide look. Not very wide. I mean, it's wide, but probably 14 feet. I've seen wide. The widest load I've carried, I think, is 12 feet. It's still anything over 10 near. Oh, yeah. It's quick to feed sometimes. Anything over 10, it gets trickier. But everything is designed to be under 10. All the roads, everything is good under 10. As soon as you go over 10, everything gets more complicated. Laws all change.
most kayaks aren't under 10 feet anyway. Majority of them. You can't get a two seater. That would be a lot more interesting. Here. Yeah, a two seater would be too long. I hear 70 mile house. Trails converge. See them here. No, because we keep looking for them. <laughs> we jinx ourselves by looking for them? Yep. Do you think it's like kind of a world that we're most surprised? Lots of marshland, lots of grassland. Remember, we did that one trip in our first on the airport just to look for moose? We did a trip. It's like, okay, you know what? We never see moose. Let's do a two day trip to find moose. We're going to drive where everybody says you have to be really, really careful because there's moose everywhere. We got to our hotel, we stopped at the restaurant, and everybody's talking about, holy smokes, how many near misses they had with moose today getting to this hotel. And we're like, where? We didn't see a single one. Where are these moose? just jinxed ourselves. Yeah. It's kind of funny now, but yeah. That was a two-day, full two-day trip road trip, driving all day, just to uh, spot some moose, got our cameras out, ready to go. Nope. Same as 
like we went to Newfoundland, and everyone's like, oh, so many moose in Newfoundland. We found one. Yeah. And that one is up by the uh, Viking village way up north. In Ontario, everyone's like, oh, I'm a moose in Ontario. And we, we can't. Uh, we can't buy moose sometimes. That, is, that, is that because we're lucky or unlucky? I saw five the last week I was with you, and that's really weird. Five? One, yeah. two, three. Yeah, five last week, yeah. Or two weeks ago. It seemed one of them would have been lucky, but five of them. That was pretty crazy. Two weeks ago was five moose and three bears, right? I can't remember it's three or four bears. I can't quite remember. And this week it's been two bears. It's not coyotes here. That's not yeah, I've seen a lot of coyotes recently. Coyotes and foxes, I've seen quite a few. I don't know if that's a bad thing. They might be hungry this year, I don't know. Or it's a good thing that they're breeding more and there's more larger property, or larger, pro larger population. Of course, this land being this beautiful, oh, we have seen a moose here before. Uh, that side road, when we took the shortcut from here down to Highway 5, oh, I saw a moose there. I don't remember seeing a moose there. I saw a moose there. Okay, maybe I didn't see a moose. But with, a, with this much land where moose would thrive, they're probably away from the main highway. There's no point for them being close to the block of traffic. Was this a tarp load? Not that I know of. Okay. And I think it said it's only 18 kids. Well, it won't be skids, it'll be lifts, but... Is it skids in there? Uh, it says skids, but it'll be lifts. Eighteen. Hmm. That's a lot of lifts, so it's probably going to be shorter. Shorter. Eight or ten feet long. Sometimes that number is completely wrong anyway. They get the phone call and said, hey, the load is 63,000 pounds. Can you take that? I'm like, no, no, I cannot. My net weight is 60,300. Okay, don't, don't, don't leave Vernon until I can make sure they'll still load you with a smaller load. I called back and said, uh, they took one lift off and now it's 59,000 pounds. I'm like, okay, good enough. Good to go. Beautiful country. 
I, I would never shoot video here unless someone had requested it. I think I have shot this video in the past, a long time ago, just to try to get lots of sections of this highway in that we didn't capture originally. But these days, they're pretty much recorded everywhere. want to find a section on the highway, most likely I've recorded it, if it's a highway that I run. Yeah, that's why if anyone has requests, let me know. It may take a while before we get a load though. So we are approaching an hour. You want to just go into overtime and get to 100, 100 mile house? Yeah, let's just do that. Just a smudging for you guys. Going into overtime. I didn't want to be the bad guy though. Oh. Neither do I. BC gets the same budget for road clearing as Manitoba does. 
Manitoba buffaloes all her road clearing in the winter and on repairing the roads in the summer. This winter is so rough on the roads there. Last week was pretty bad for RVs, but this week hasn't been too bad. But we've been on bigger highways too, so. Oh, it was in Alberta somewhere. Remember the moose that ran across the road and jumped the fence like it was nothing? Yeah. Fence? What fence? It just stepped over and barely jumped. is black.
meaning it's almost at the same time you have to get loaded. Hopefully we are loaded by the time the safety meeting starts. So I thought of turning off the VHF, I didn't think of turning off the CB because it's usually just quiet in Canada. Because I didn't want to have to edit all the peaks like I have to do for yesterday's video. the radio on. Nope. And if anyone wants to know what that beeping sound was yesterday, it was turning the VHF radio on, not that beep. ahead. 70 immediately. Coming down the hill at full speed. You need to give us a little more warning. It's 10, what? 10 kilometers. What? Of course I had to say it. I've never seen anything but 8. I once, I shoot a video and say it's always been 8. Now it's 10. Great. So, prove myself wrong just like that. Well, I guess I'm wrong. It's not always eight kilometers. It's the first time I've ever seen not eight. I had to point it out now. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. I thought you didn't want to be the bad guy. You have to give me a lot quicker. Oh! I know I just feed you a couple cookies and I'm okay. <laughs>
house has a big pond, marsh, lake in the middle of town. It's a marsh. A hundred mile marsh. Well guys, I guess we'll leave it there. That's enough overtime. Too much overtime. A little bit longer than normal. I try to keep them under an hour because honestly, who has time to watch the car? Okay, figured it out. Who has time to watch an hour every single day? I certainly don't. I certainly don't expect you guys to all watch an hour every single day. I think it's a huge win if I get you guys to watch one hour a week. Anyway, thank you. And for those of you crazy enough to watch every single video in its full entire length, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. That wasn't even a hard stop. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna let you guys go. Um, I know uh, during the spring and summer subscribers slow down. So far, subscribers kind of have been still going up. So those of you staying subscribed, taking it in for, out for the long long term. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.